Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to reinstall Windows 10 without losing any information you might already have on your computer. So this might be a good time to actually reinstall or refresh Windows 10 if you're having issues with say system files, maybe you just had a malware infection and you're looking to reinstall Windows 10, maybe you had corrupt system apps or the start menu is having issues. So in this brief tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to basically refresh Windows 10 and it's going to be pretty straightforward here. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up our web browser here. And on Google we're going to type in download Windows 10. should be a Microsoft domain that comes up and it should say Windows 10 ISO and it should say Microsoft next to it. So you want to left click on that. So we see there's an area that says looking to install Windows 10 on your PC. Left click on download tool now. This will download the media creation tool. So it will take a moment, it is about 17 and a half megabytes, but it should be pretty speedy depending on your internet speed. Okay, so once the tool is finished downloading, you want to proceed to left click on it. I'm just going to minimize that out of the web browser because it's not necessary at this point. So and then you're going to be prompted by the user account control if you want to allow the app to make changes to your device. Left click on yes. You're going to get an end license user agreement here. Once you're done reading through it, left click on accept. So it's going to prompt you if what you want to do. You want to make sure it's the option that says upgrade this PC now is selected. And then left click on next. So this will begin downloading and installing the latest version of Windows 10. So just be patient here. There will be one more dialog window I'm going to have to show you guys before we finish the process here. So while this is initially downloading Windows 10, I will be right back. Okay everyone, so we can see that we have reached the applicable notes and licensing terms. We're going to left click on accept. So again, this will take a couple minutes, so once it is done, I will be right back. Okay everyone, so we can see that the setup is ready to install. And to recap, it will give us a little breakdown of what exactly it's going to do. And by default, it's going to keep personal files and apps. If you left click on this link that says change what to keep, it will let you choose between three different options here. First one at the bottom will keep nothing. The one in the middle will just keep personal files but it will delete your settings and apps. And the top option will keep personal files and apps. So this will keep everything unchanged, at least from your appearance. So you want to keep that selected and then left click on next. So this will begin checking for the updates. And once this is done, I will be right back. Okay guys, so I just hit install and it's going to start installing Windows 10, or I should say, correcting any issues you might have had, hopefully. So this is just going to take a little bit of time to run, so just be patient. And once it is done, I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So Windows 10 has finished reinstalling to an extent. It went through the traditional screen of just saying that everything was getting set up. And we can see that we have gone back to Windows 10, 
or we are actually we're on Windows 10 but hopefully your issue has been resolved so just check out whatever was creating an issue before and hopefully it's no longer acting in such a way so I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video goodbye